Hi, this is Tom with DSC Sport. We are the developer and the manufacturer of the fully active control module for electronic suspension. We're here today to introduce the Tractive DDA shock and to highlight some of its features, doing which we will show you how to assemble a shock into a coil over that's ready to bolt into the car. This is the Tractive DDA shock for the Porsche 997 GT3. This is a uh, inverted design shock, also known as an upside down shock, which means the primary tube is here into this outer casing. And the stem that you would think where a normal shock would be is actually here. As you can see from down here, this is a nut for the stem. And being that this is an upside down design, the attractive engineers went one step further and put vents underneath to prevent pressure buildup. The attractive engineers uh, went further with this to increase rigidity by adding this extra material where it goes into the upright. So, uh, on extreme applications, uh, it actually bends here it's slightly above the upright. In fact, uh, on some very extreme applications, we even seen them uh, break off when using very, very grippy tires. So uh, as far as the uh, sizes, the inner tube is a 43 millimeter, very robust, and the outer tube, also known as the outer casing, is 55 millimeters, which is uh, larger in diameter than the OEM GT3, GT3, and even the uh, cup car. One of the key features of the Tractive Shock is the manufacturing and the material selection. The guide clearance on all the Tractive Shocks is actually at an industry low of 0.01 millimeter. In inches, that would be 0 0.0004. So four digits past the uh, decimal point, which is very amazing to have this type of uh, clearance. So basically we're putting together two components and the components are say at about 10 or 15 degrees difference in temperature. The parts just wouldn't go together. And the advantage of having such a tight tolerance is that when it's put together, when it's working in a car, it will reduce stiction. And as the components move and as they get heated up together at the same rate, it really has uh, the lowest stiction in the industry, which is less than 50 pounds. And again, with this shock, there's no hysteresis. Each set of DDA shocks includes a toolkit. This is a very nice toolkit that includes all the bits you need to service the shocks externally. Right now, we have the bit in for adjusting ride height. So it just goes into the collar. And uh, just the ride height as such, it, this tool provides all the leverage you need even for um, high preload sprints. And once you have the ride height set at where you want, we'll switch bits. To tighten the set screw. That's it, that's all you need. We are offering the Tractive DDA shock as a package coil over kit with Swift Springs. Swift is a company from Japan, and as far as we know, Swift is the only spring company who is uh, using wires that are designed exclusively for motorsports and road cars. Unlike uh, other companies that are using commercially available wires for uh, many different industrial uses. So the advantage of uh, using a spring wire specifically designed for motorsports and racing is uh, controlling the frequency of the movement. Before we thought that uh, the only quality to a spring is the spring rate, well there's actually a lot more to it than that including the frequency. So these guys have uh, worked very diligently to come up with a spring wire that uh, will put more grip to the tire. So we'll start with the Swift Tender Spring, Helper Spring, if you want to call it that. Divider here. And here we have the main spring. Once this is put together, we will put on the uh, top hat. Here we have the top hat assembly. 
it is three pieces and another intricate design by the Tractive Engineers. So we have the very basic billet aluminum hat here which contacts the spring. And this is a uh, self-lubricating bearing. It is very efficient and the higher load you put into it, the lubricity becomes higher. So this is a uh, proprietary material, another innovation by the Tractive Engineers. So this goes in here. And to keep the bearing perfectly centered, we have this bushing here that is very nicely machined with multiple steps. So this goes on to here. Talk about attention to details. Even the uh, top pin here is a very fine thread and it's a uh, larger diameter than the OEM, actually by a lot. So once we have this assembled, here's the uh, tractive top plate. It is the uh, very similar design to the uh, OEM Porsche GT3 and cup car with the dual bow pattern. As you can see here, even the uh, captive fastener at the bottom is stainless steel, very high quality European bearings. Once we put this on, have it center on the shoulder, and we have this uh, other bushing on the top, stainless steel, of course. And lastly, the fastener. Here we have a fully assembled tractive DDA coilover. With all the innovations from Tractive, we have a shock that have less than 50 pounds of station and will respond to electronics command in less than 6 milliseconds and be able to change valving during mid-stroke.